more goals before the next January the 1st, he could beat the all-time Premier League goals in a calendar year record, which, as you can see, is currently held by Alan Shearer at Blackburn in 95. 36 goals he scored in those 12 months. Thierry Henry, just one goal ahead of Van Persie at the moment. What do you think, Dean? He's got four games left in this calendar year. Can Robin Van Persie do it? He certainly can. And what it's so impressive, probably those teams that Thierry Henry played in, as Graham talked about, Dennis Burkham, I think that was a better Arsenal team than the one that Alan Shearer played in. That was probably the Premier League winning side team, wasn't it? So it is impressive in that he's leading the line for Arsenal. He's got a fantastic chance to get the record. Well, yeah, also impressive because nobody thought he'd ever be fit for 12 months in a row, <laughs> let alone <laughs> score all those goals. Well, there you go. Robin Van Persie, long may he remain healthy and hale. Well, on next to last weekend's big story down at the other end of the table, which was, of course, Martin O'Neill's debut at Sunderland. The opponents were relegation rivals Blackburn Rovers, and the ending was pure drama. I thought they were terrific today. We've got some points in the ball, which is obviously high ball. The crowd for, for the equalising goal that had it miles away. And then you know, the running goal was just, just done. Mm, the Irish connection continues there at Sunderland. Celebrations at the end, but the Black Cats uh, narrowly avoiding a disastrous start for their new manager against Blackburn. And even with the win, they still lie uncomfortably close to the drop in 16th place. Well, let's hear more now on uh, the latest with Sunderland. Recent events on Wearside have certainly been keeping our man up there in the northeast busy. Chris Ford is the man in question. Here is his latest dispatch. It was there for all to see on Sunday, wasn't it? Martin O'Neill's passion for the game. Martin O'Neill's passion for Sunderland.